Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are sitting at Lime Rock Park here on iRacing in the Dallara F3. That's because Mazda Racing's series in iRacing has started today. So like I said, if you guys saw my Instagram post, I will be running in the series a bunch of times in a bunch of races. So if you guys are looking to get into iRacing and try and maybe win an R5 bundle, Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of the description box below. Everything will be down in the description as well. We do have the uh, FSR wheel all ready to go, so let's get to it. All right, so like I said, we got the FSR wheel. We're going to get this thing clipped on to the R5. And we're going to go full send in testing on Lime Rock, a track that I very well know, so that we can get a good basic idea of the car's handling characteristics before we just throw ourselves into some racing. I'm gonna get our car started up. Crease that up a little bit. There we go. All right. So full send. We take the first lap kind of just to uh, warm up the tires and kind of feel out the car. So we do have the Mazda Racing logo as the main sponsor. And of course, Next Level Racing is the secondary. Big thank you to both of them for being a supporter of the channel. Mazda Racing, of course, supplying me with all these amazing wheel setups, the new R5 and the FSR wheel. Next Level, the chassis that keeps me in place without any movement. So Lime Rock Park is definitely a fun course and a course that I'm very familiar with. So we're just uh, kind of getting the tires a little warm. We'll go full send going into the final uh, final turn, and we'll go full send and do some hot laps. But like I said, if you guys want to get in or you are on iRacing, let me know if you guys are going to be competing in this series and potentially uh, winning some amazing Mazda products. So let's go full send. car pretty sticky right there this is the first hot lap out with this car have not driven this car yet so we're gonna see if we can't take a little easy on the first lap just to uh, gauge the grip level of the car pretty grippy actually oh as I say that the back end steps out a little bit okay the back tires are not really that warm yet as you can see we are sliding all over the place right now so we are on the factory uh, Mosa Racing GT wheel settings at 540 degrees of rotation, which is at full max uh, force feedback on this R5. Starting to get a little bit more grip on the tires. Trying to heat up these rears. Cold tires are definitely not a fun thing off the rip. Like I said, this is the first time I've driven this car, so this is going to be a fun kind of testing session. Okay, we could break a little bit later into that. Okay, we definitely are getting some grip in the rear. Definitely don't want to touch the grass in this car, but definitely loop. Oh, yep, too much brake. <laughs> too much on the brakes, and this car does not like the grass. So definitely uh, a little bit too much on the brakes, locking it up. Need to adjust my brake control a little bit to help adjust the curve of braking so it's not so instantaneous hard lock. Kind of to roll, so the brakes roll into it, which is, you know, some fine tuning settings, which we can do and uh, we'll actually enjoy the braking of this car. So it is a fixed race setup, so we can't do anything changing of the chassis wise or anything like that. So we are gonna have to be running full uh, how everybody else is running, which I kind of like fixed race series because then it's really about the driver, not the tuning of the car. And if you don't know how to tune a car, then you don't have to worry about it. Oh yeah, we need to be gentle around the brakes. This car is uh, quite brake heavy.
Yep. And then we weren't hard enough on the brakes. Okay, so we got to manage our braking cord. point. Yeah, I know I cut the cord. But <laughs> manage our braking point there. But like I said, this is the first test of this car. I'm sure once we get some fine dialing in on the car, we will be way quicker and way faster. That's just like getting in any new car. Got to uh, feel it out, fill out the... Uh, Characteristics of it and get your braking zones and everything down. So, we are getting a little bit more grip in the rear there. I also don't want to oversteer the car. I'm noticing steering way too much in these corners is causing the back to uh, skate a little bit. Okay, that was a little better. Little brake lockup. Oh, that forced feedback of that R5 going over that rumble. R5 has definitely a lot of feedback. I'm starting to get a little bit more of a feel for this. So we're getting a little bit more comfortable in the car. It's definitely something I want to do before you just go out into a race series and just uh, pummel everybody on course. You don't want to be that guy. Uh, the race series is for C-Class and up, uh, so you gotta have a C-Class license or higher in order to race in the Moza Racing Series. Which means you will have uh, some pretty decent competitors. Oof that are not going to be dive bombing too much or crashing into you because they are of a higher driving level which means they put the time in to get the license and whoa. The car does not like second gear coming out of turns. Of course this car has no assists or anything like that so I'm just looking for my tear off button. We can break way later for that. So definitely going to be a fun series and hopefully I can get in there and get wheel to wheel with some of you guys as well if you guys are on iRacing. It would be great to uh, find out how many of you guys are competing in iRacing and potentially going to be competing in this Moza Racing uh, F3 series. Like I said, all the information will be found in the description box below. And also you can follow me on Instagram or of course Moza Racing posts about it on their Instagram as well. So as always, I like thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys hopefully on the track here in iRacing in the Moza Racing series or on the track in Assetto and all the drift games. So as always, I thank you coming back and watching. I'll see you guys on the track. There's a lockup. up.